And so I've just built a little circuit here that includes a parallel plate capacitor. And I'm wondering what's going to happen when I flip this switch. Whoa, what happened here was electrons built up on the bottom plate and created a net negative charge. That negative charge drove the free electrons out of the top plate and left a positive charge. And what we really have here is a potential difference between those two plates. And this is a sort of capacitor, this parallel plate apparatus. What's interesting about this apparatus is that it generates a uniform electric field between the two plates. That's both in terms of intensity and direction. As I get further away from a positive charge, I approach a negative charge, and so intensity throughout is uniform. Electric field intensity, in this case, can be calculated if I happen to know what the potential difference is between the two plates, in other words, the voltage, either side of the plates, and the separation, R, of the plates. Now recall, for a charge in an electric field, the force on that charge is equal to the field intensity times the size of the charge. We're going to be using these concepts to look at Robert A. Millikan's to look at Robert A. Millikan's famous experiment in which he determined the fundamental charge on an electron.